Hello, my name is Betsy and I'm a singing teacher at Take Lessons. In this video, you're going to learn some of the best audition songs for tenors for your voice type. We'll cover a mix of classical, Broadway, and Disney, as well as popular songs to avoid for your next audition. So stay tuned and don't forget to click on the link in the description box to try our free online singing classes. So the best thing to think about when you're auditioning as a tenor is what role are you auditioning for? So you want to think of something matching the show you're auditioning for, the style, the piece, the genre, the time that it was written, letting the director see you in that role, and then choosing something that's appropriate but maybe won't be overdone. You as a tenor kind of have it luckier because most of the roles are going to be that leading man role. You are going to have a love interest. You are going to have some pretty lyrical duets, probably with a young ingenue soprano type so if you can show that you can carry that that lyrical that beautiful soaring tenor that everybody wants to hear that's what you should showcase during your audition again as far as roles go or songs to not sing it's gonna be anything that's on Broadway anything that uses profanity it's gonna be hard to keep those adult context themes out of some of these audition songs and especially if you're a younger singer auditioning or if it's a junior theater or high school musicals you don't want to put yourself in a position that makes the director uncomfortable. So think about that. Think about something that's appropriate, not being currently sung on Broadway, something that's not super overdone like Phantom. Choose something that's a little bit maybe off the beaten path or even older if that's appropriate for the musical that you're auditioning for. With Disney musicals, it's appropriate to use a Disney song at an audition for a Disney musical, but it's never appropriate to sing what that character is singing. So if you're auditioning for Hercules, you don't want to sing a song from Hercules. If you're auditioning for maybe Prince Eric or something, it would totally be appropriate to use Go the Distance from Hercules, which is a great tenor song, or I'll Make a Man Out of You from Mulan, another really good one. Out There from Hunchback is probably one of my favorite pieces to use for a tenor audition because it's so beautiful and you can have some acting ability showcased with that one as well. So if you're a young tenor, it's important to show off your understanding of bel canto or your lyrical lines and you really want to have that big soaring tenor moment. So you want to think of arias that are lighter and brighter and have that gorgeous ability to just kind of ring through the recital hall or wherever you're auditioning. Donizetti's Elixir of Love has a great aria called Una Fartiva Lacrima and it's gonna just be able to show off that gorgeous bel canto line. If you need a song or a aria in English, there's a ton of operetta to choose from. Pirates of Penzance has a beautiful tenor aria, Oh Is There Not One Made in Breast, that is a great song to show off a young tenor's ability to sing about love comfortably, lyrically. So let's say you are a tenor that's been studying for a really long time and you've got impeccable high C's. So in that case, I would just go for it. I would sing some Puccini and just bring out some Nessun Dorma and just let those directors and casting agents know that you have the ability, you've been studying, you have the agility, you've got the range and you can sing those really high notes with strength and you know, just show off everything beautiful that people just love about operatic tenors. This is if you are a more mature tenor, you're able to do it, you've been studying seriously you've been taking voice lessons and you're comfortable go in there with big guns blazing if you're a younger tenor if you haven't been studying please don't try to tackle something that's too big for you even if you feel like you might be okay singing it I would scale down and choose something or work with a, a professional and help you choose something that's a little bit smaller that isn't such a grand like show standing operatic tenor moment so tenors for musical theater, there are so many roles written for a beautiful, soaring, lyrical tenor. If you're gonna do something like Bring Him Home from Les Mis, you better make sure that you have the most gorgeous, ringing tenor lines ever because you can guarantee that five, 10 other people are going to be singing that piece. And if you're gonna be singing it, make sure you're singing it the best. I'm not saying don't, but just be really comfortable doing it. So The Light from the Piazza is a newer piece, so if you are doing a show that was written in the last 10 years or so, it would be totally appropriate to do a piece from there. Paso Giata is a beautiful soaring bel canto type tenor 
lyrical audition piece that I would recommend. It has some beautiful lines that you could cut if you have to do a certain bar phrasing or something, not being able to sing the whole piece. Where in the World from Secret Garden, again, super appropriate for maybe something that's written not in the last 10 years. Go back a little bit farther and really show that same style and show the director that you can sing and be comfortable with music from that genre. The 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee is another musical that's maybe a little bit more modern and The Prayer of the Comfort Counselor would be a great song for a younger tenor to showcase. It's gonna be appropriate for most ages if you're doing junior theater or community theater or even high school musicals. Um, something like that would be a really great piece. And again, if you're doing a show that wasn't written in the last 10 years, Jesus Christ Superstar is a little bit older. Heaven on Their Minds is just a great song for a nice tenor piece that shows your ability and your range. It's out of a baritone range, but it's also from a little bit older of a genre where maybe you wouldn't be singing the same song as 15 songs from Les Mis that you know are gonna be auditioned with. So I Can't Stand Still from Footloose is a great song to sing for an upbeat audition piece if you want that. However, it does have a really strong mid-range, so this piece would only be good if you have that strong middle range or if you are a baritone with a really solid upper range. If you're kind of on the cusp and sing one of the two and you want to show off and maybe that's the role that the, it's written for, has more of that mid-tone range and you want to be able to show some of your depth. As a tenor, that would be a great song to choose that would have that kind of mid-area and still be up-tempo, which is, you know, a little bit more rare to find something that has the both of them. Fortune Fravors the Brave from Aida is a great song for a tenor if you can have that ability to sing with that, that diction and still carry that beautiful lyrical line as well. Into the Fire from the Scarlet Pimpernel is also a great choice if you have that, like I said, just that, that spitfire ability to just kind of like let the diction fly. If I was a judge or if I was a director, hearing something like that done really well, just like nailed to the wall quickly would really, really impress me and allow me to see you in that kind of way if I were casting something that needed that song sung. So again, with comedic songs, and it doesn't matter if you're a tenor or a soprano or an alto or a baritone or whatever, you have to be able to show that you're an actor. And acting ability for a comedic role is almost as important or more important in some cases than a really great singing voice. Because you're not standing on stage, it's not an oratorio, you're not still, you're not able to focus 100% of your being on just your voice. You have to be able to think about your character. You'll probably be dancing, you'll probably be walking across stage. So really think about being able to express a song, tell the story, get the point across, be funny with it without being maybe like slapstick. Something like Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat has One More Angel in Heaven. It's a beautiful song. You could totally tell the story, but it's not like a punchline comedy. So something like that would be great great if you're not expected to be slapstick and you want to get the point across that you can tell a story, you can emote, you can make people laugh. It is a funny piece. You can be light with it, but still show off your vocal ability at the same time. The Book of Mormon has You and Me, But Mostly Me, which is another really funny song. Will totally show off your personality and acting ability. Um, but just, you have to be careful if you don't have super great control of your upper, upper register because that piece does have B flats and C's that you just need to really nail to the wall. So if you do have that high tessitura and you have those beautiful ringing tenor notes, this is a great one that combines not only the comedic ability, um, but also the singing ability and that shows off both really well, which will be great to casting directors. And if you're singing the type of role where it would be written from maybe a few decades past, Godspell is another good one that was written a few years ago. You probably won't see a ton of people auditioning with it. All for the Best is a great song for a tenor to be auditioning. It can be super funny. It will show off your acting ability more so than a, a lot of other songs and really lend the director you know, an idea that you do have comedic timing, that you can sing through something funny. And again, it's not a super modern show, so it's good to pull from songs from the past. So The Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder is a great show. Poison in My Pocket can just be acted out and shown in such a funny way. It'll just really give the director an idea of what you can do. 
So again, directors in an audition for a tenor, for a leading role, for somebody funny, they want to see you act out and kind of portray yourself and, and put yourself in the light that they want to cast. If you are going for that leading man that's paired up with a sweet young ingenue, you want to show them that ability, that you have the ability to express love and emotion and be emotional and open and vulnerable on stage. So choosing a song that showcases that would be important. Whereas if you're doing something that's a funnier role, you know, do something with comedic ability or acting a little bit or something that you can kind of put a twist on and make your own that doesn't necessarily leave you open and vulnerable on stage, but instead shows off timing and acting chops. That would be more important than having some beautiful soaring high tenor, you know, range that, that's shown off. So it really depends on what the director is going to be looking for, which depends on what they're casting for. So again, be ready to vocalize. Most auditions will have a pianist there. They'll stretch your range. They want to see how high you can go. Do you have those beautiful high C's? Are you able to sing the role and what it's written for? Even if your audition piece doesn't necessarily show off those high notes, they might expect to hear them. If you are auditioning for a love interest or the leading man type role, they might bring the soprano that they've cast as the, the, you know, the love interest or the ingenue on stage and have you read together, see if there's good chemistry, see if you look good next to each other. Maybe be prepared to have somebody else play off of you on stage at a role or especially a callback just to see if you're good being cast with somebody else because you're not only you know, a tenor acting in this, but you're half of a duet which is important to see together. Can you think of any other good audition songs for tenors? Leave a comment and let us know. And if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing so you can receive more helpful singing lessons.